Hi, welcome to Reacts with Jax. I'm Jax, and today I am reacting to Batman Begins. This is a Christopher Nolan film starring Christian Bale. I can't wait to see it. I don't know if I've seen this before or not. So out of the Christian Bale Batman movies, I did see one of them, and it was Heath Ledger's The Joker. And I'm not sure if that was the first one or not. So <laughs> I don't I don't really know if I've seen this. It'll be a surprise. We shall see. And so I'm looking forward to it. And the, the Batman film that I did see before, I saw it so long ago that I am excited to kind of rewatch it and re-experience what that was like. Heath Ledger's performance was amazing. And so I'm, I'm looking forward to this. This will be a lot of fun. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed this content. And let's get started. I see you find your keepers and I found it. That's rude if it was in his house. Find your keepers. Oh, <laughs> he's playing that game too. <laughs> God. Why? Why? Mom. Oh my God, look at that house. See, that's the kind of house I'm talking about. Why was Thanos in that little shack? in the garden in MCU. You know what I'm saying? Like that was the type of house you want. Yeah, that's terrifying. <laughs> Worse than this place. He's in prison? Is this the right movie? Did I start with the beginning? That's a lot of mud. Where is he? I mean, I know he's in a prison, but what country is he in? Are you so desperate to fight criminals that you lock yourself in to take them on one at a time? I counted six, Mr. Wayne. Who was this dude? That's Liam Neeson, right? On what path now? Raz al Ghul, Arthur. Path of the League of Shadows. The League of Shadows? Vigilante is just a man lost in the scramble for his own gratification. He can be destroyed, locked up. Oh, calling you out. And you become something else entirely. Which is? Legend, Mr. Wayne. This script is incredible. I love this dialogue. Oh, they literally threw you out of prison. Okay. Gosh, I don't know why, but I just wasn't expecting this to be the Batman Begins intro. I'm going to have to check up who did the music. It's great. Oh, you got the blue flower. That was easy. I guess climbing the mountain's the hard part. Yeah, that's, that's not a mountain you want to climb without some gear. So he's going to be part of a League of Shadows. Interesting. Hmm. Who built that? How did they get all that material out there? That'd be a difficult thing to do. That's a lot of candles to leave unattended in a wooden building. Ra's al Ghul. Ra's al Ghul. The head of the League of Shadows? What are you seeking? I seek. Oh, you better say the right answer. To turn fear against those who prey on the fearful. How did they get there? There's clearly an easier way to get up to that mountain. Are you ready to begin? I, I can barely stand. Death does yeah. not wait for you to be ready. He never got his breakfast. Oh my god. Tiger. See, if he had just trained with Poe from Kung Fu Panda, he would have been better and prepared for all of that. I'll set the bone and take him for an x-ray later. I'm very sorry, sir. Don't I've worry, that's fine. Hmm. I love that house. I'd be a monster to clean. He looks so cute in his little tuxedo. So we build a new cheap public transportation system to unite the city. Is that where you work? No, I work at the hospital. 
I was wondering why he was like, no, I'll set the bone. So he's a doctor. I do not know how to set a bone. I, that's something they should teach you in school, just in case, you know? Is he enjoying this? Oh, I guess it is kind of entertaining. I don't just, I've never really seen a kid at the opera. I've actually never been to an opera. Have I? No, I have. I was at Phantom of the Opera. Don't go. Oh, he's really traumatized from the bats. Those parents are so sweet. Not making him have to stay. It's me. I just needed some fresh air. A little bit of opera goes a long way. Right, Bruce? That's so nice of him. He's such a good dad. Why is there creepy music? You can hear it. Oh! Wallace, Joey, come on, fast. Yeah, just give it to him. Just give it to him. Here you go. Why did you do that? Oh, did he not do it on purpose? Don't attack him, he has a gun. Oh my gosh. Hmm. This movie is really beautifully shot. The sets are wonderful. Oh, hello, Gary Oldman. That's okay. No, it's not okay. His parents were just murdered right in front of him. Yeah. Is everyone trying to get a picture of him in the back? That's tough. We got him, son. You did? I wasn't sure if that's part of what this movie would be about, him hunting that guy down, but I guess not. I thought I might prepare a little supper. That sounds delicious. I don't even know what you're making, and I don't care. I'll take it. Do you still feel responsible for your parents' death? My anger outweighs my guilt. Hmm. So, yes. You know how to fight six men. We can teach you how to engage 600. Really? <laughs> so you could argue Liam Neeson's gonna teach him a special set of skills. <laughs> Understands that invisibility is a matter of patience and agility. Unless you get an invisibility cloak, like the one Harry Potter had, in which case it's fairly simple. <laughs> These sets, look at this set. It's stunning. Ninjutsu employs explosive powders. You must become more than just a man in the mind of your opponent. You must become a bat man. Your parents' death was not your fault. It was your father's. Father failed to act. A man had a gun. Did that stop you? You haven't beaten me. You've sacrificed sure footing for a killing stroke. Oh no. Oh. One day you catch yourself wishing the person you loved had never existed, so you'd be spared your pain. Hmm. Sounds like he's speaking from experience. My great love. She was taken from me. Oh, was she taken? I'm so <laughs> sorry, I'll stop with the taken references. <laughs> It's my father's house. Your father is dead. Now this place is a mausoleum. If I have my way, I'll pull the damn thing down brick by brick. You can give it to me. I'll live in it. Why do you give a damn, Alfred? It's not your family. I'll give a damn. Oh. Why would you tell him he's not family? That's your mom. She misses this place. So do I. But it's nothing without the people who made it what it was. Now there's only Alfred. Because you keep putting down Alfred, don't you? Yana. Not a day goes by that I don't wish I could take back what he did. Who is that actor? He looks so familiar. I'm assuming he's a comic book character. Has he got anything to Mr. say? Mr. Chill. Wow. What interesting directing there. Oh! No. Wayne. You just... Oh, this is not a very good plan. Lammy agrees. <gasps> oh, nobody wanted him to testify. All these years I wanted to kill him. Now I can't. 
oh, okay, you're doing it again. Apparently the first time wasn't enough. <laughs> Your father would be ashamed of you. I always think it's weird when people slap each other in movies. That's assault. What if he did that to you? It's just my own personal pet peeve. It's also, you know, against the law, so I don't feel like it's my personal pet peeve as much as it is just generally wrong. Oh my god, why would you throw away the gun and then go see the mobster? He really does not understand. Take the gun. Also take the cannoli, because you can eat it on the way. Now, I wouldn't have a second's hesitation in blowing your head off right here and right now in front of him. Now, that's power you can't buy. You haven't thought about your lady friend down in the DA's office. You haven't thought about your old butler. Bang! I love a good villain. Don't come down here with your anger, trying to prove something to yourself. This is a world you never understand. God, great monologue, great delivery. I love this. This movie is so good. Oh, everyone is just hitting each other. <laughs> Chill told me uh, about the night he killed your parents. He said your father begged for mercy. Begged. Like a dog. I'm assuming he said that to rile him up. God, this is Should a good tip script. better. Should have tipped better, yeah. You couldn't have given him the scarf? Maybe he's cold. What? Your jacket? You, why didn't you give him- you threw your scarf. It's cold out. It's, it's a nice gun. You could have had a coat and a scarf, but Bruce decided to throw the scarf away. I- I can't remember- Mr. Spigatoni, the mob guy, he was great. First time I stole so that I wouldn't starve. I lost many assumptions about the simple nature of right and wrong. Hmm. Fool, what the hell do I care what your name is? You're a criminal. What was your friend you wouldn't tell that to the guy who owned these? <gasps> oh my god, he only stole from himself? He's a genius. Is that illegal to steal from you? To conquer fear, you must become fear. You must bask in the fear of other men. Oh, is that a hallucinogen? This is pretty intense training. This might be one of the best origin stories to a superhero I've seen. And since I was just watching the Infinity Saga, that says something. Embrace your worst fear. He needs to meet a bat and see how adorable they are when they eat bananas. You ever see those videos online of a little bat all swaddled in a blanket eating a banana? I mean... You cannot leave any sign. Failed. Oh! That was smart. Oh, now you have to get a brand? We have purged your fear. I'm fearful still. But first, you must demonstrate your commitment to justice. Wait for it! <gasps> you have to kill the man! No, no, no! No, Bruce. No. No. I don't think Bruce is gonna do it. What do you think, Lammy? You want to fight criminals? This man is a murderer. This man should be tried. Is this a test? God must be destroyed. Okay. I will not become an executioner. Bruce, please. For your own sake, there is no turning back. Well, this isn't a test. Wow. There, but there is turning back. You can just not kill the man. <laughs> What are you doing? What's necessary, my friend? All these sword fights in this movie are so cool. I can imagine that the training for all of it must have been really excessive. Oh, that killed him? I would carry you out of the fire, Lammy. But you're also light as a feather, so it wouldn't... <laughs> 
would be very difficult. <laughs> Nolan doesn't like to use a lot of CGI, does he? <gasps> okay, how did they film this? That's incredible. Wow. He's been unconscious this whole time? That's not a good sign. That was unexpected. He just destroyed the League of Shadows? I assume this symbol is a persona to protect those you care about from reprisals. You think about Rachel? I was thinking to myself. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> legal ramifications of bringing you back from the dead. Dead? You've been gone seven years. You have me declared dead? Oh, seven? Isn't that the amount of time? Gosh, Rachel must feel terrible. She brings him... In my him? opinion, Mr. Zaz is as much a danger to himself as to others. Killian Murphy. Look at him studying about how to take down the city with some Orange juice. I can't believe all this is on his property. You have a waterfall on your property and caves? It's quite extensive terrain. Someone is sniffing around. I scratch your back, you scratch mine, Doc. I'm bringing in the shipments. We are paying you for that. <laughs> but you know who I'm working for. And when he gets here, he, he's coming to Gotham. Yes, he is. Who's he working for? Good morning, Mr. Earl's office. Oh yes, he's confirmed for the dinner tomorrow evening. It'd be funny if his first name was Gray. Gray Earl. <laughs> like my favorite tea. You're the only one left of the Wayne family. This is where you belong. Welcome home. Environmental procedures, best projects. All prototypes, not in production, on any level whatsoever. What did they tell you this place was? Earl told me exactly what it was when he sent me down here. Dead end. Oh. Kevlar utility harness, gas-powered magnetic grapple gun, the 350-pound test monofilament. How is this a dead end? One for project at Dash Street. Kind of made Wayne Tower the unofficial center of Gotham City. Of course, Earl had to go to the rod. Here we are. Of course, Earl, the true villain of the story. Reinforced joints, tear resistant. This sucker will stop a knife. Bulletproof. Anything but a straight shot. What's a straight shot? I want to borrow it for uh, Spelunky. Spelunky? Yeah, you know, cave diving. Oh, I did not know what spelunking was. This is awesome. What a great origin story. I'm no rat in a town that's been. Who's there to rat to anyway? Hmm. That was a great script setup. Who's there to rat to anyway? Batman. Oh, that was a great setup. Carmine Falcone. What will it take to bring him down? Leverage on Judge Faden and the DA brave enough to prosecute. Rachel. You're just one man. No. Oh, we. That's great. Why? But you. What would you do? Shoot the guy who wants to take down the criminals? Oh, that was very John Wick at the end of Parabellum. Oh God. Oh, but he's wearing the. Is he wearing the stuff? Yeah. That would still hurt though. The hell was that? That was a pre-Batman. That was a baby Batman. You don't want to tell me exactly what you're doing when I'm asked. I don't have to lie. But don't think of me as an idiot. Fair enough. Oh, I love this. What's that? Is that a Batmobile? <laughs> Are you wearing seatbelts? It does not look like it. So what do you think? Does it come in black? It's a problem with the graphite, sir. The next 10,000 will be up to specifications. At least they gave us a discount. Wow, so he'll have 10,000 of those masks. Hope he doesn't plan on rebranding anytime soon. This is so cool. 
it reminds me a lot of like the Tony Stark origin, you know, where you're just seeing it all from the beginning. And he's so handy. I mean, where did he learn how to do all of this? Why is every superhero like a genius at everything? Didn't he drop out of Princeton? Why bats? Most of the way. Bats frightened me. This time my enemies shared my dread. Oh. A bat throwing star. Is that what that's called? A throwing star? It's nice. As for you, you can keep that as a souvenir. Where are you? Here. Oh my goodness. There's a problem out here, you better bail. Interesting that that guy said you better bail and he just goes right to the problem to see what it is. Well, now he's bailing. You're, oh, you're scared. I'm Batman. <laughs> oh, it's the guy with the coat. Nice coat. That guy is going to sound crazy to any of his friends when he's like, a Batman flew away with the sky. Ah. <laughs> oh. These sets really do look like pieces of art, even in the grunginess of the city. It all looks so good. Oh! <gasps> good job, Rachel. You're looking behind you. You are aware of your surroundings. You are aware. Yep, 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 yep. Lammy, we are wishing good things for Rachel. That's right. You better run. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> he just takes it off. Who are you? Someone who rattled the cages. Everything okay? Everything is great, sir. Better than great. Connie's men. Does it matter? We'll never turn to it anyway. I wouldn't be too sure of that. What did he do? How do you tie them to it? Oh my god. Oh my god. That is so cool. I don't even have a strong history with the Batman character, and I'm amazed by this. I'm really curious, like, if you really loved the DC comics and you were a big fan of Batman, is this, is this like a top-tier Batman movie to you? Look at this shot. Look at that. That's incredible. Interesting that he kind of took the position of what would typically be a gargoyle, and they're supposed to kind of ward off evil. Oh, he's all bruised. What does someone like me do? Drive sports cars, date movie stars. Oh, bye. Oh, that, that's not how I start a set of push-ups. <laughs> oh, wow, that is adorable! <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I'm doing push-ups wrong. Prototype weapon. It's a, a microwave emitter. It's, it looks like somebody um, stole it. Turned it on. Oh. The weapon itself is uh, missing. Yeah. Hmm. That's very dangerous to drive like that. It's one person per seat. And you need to wear a seatbelt, and it did not look like they were wearing them either. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. It is not a question of money. You see, I'm buying this hotel. He's not in a position to accept a purchasing offer, though. Is he? Did he purchase it, though? Was that guy in a position to just be like, I accept this offer? Wow, it is good to see you. All this. It's not me. Hmm. It's not who you are underneath. It's what you do that defines you. That's so tough to have to take on this fake identity of being a really shallow person. So whatever he's planning, 
It's big, and I want it. I already know what he'll say, that we should kill you. Who are they talking about? Would you like to see my mask? I use it in my experiments. Oh no, he experiments on people. So when did the nut take over the nut house? They scream and they cry. Oh god, oh, that's actually scary. Lemmy. I'll talk to the judge and see if I can get him moved to the secure wing at Arkham. I can't treat him here. Oh god, you're gonna do more experiments on him? He's a bad person. I have to remind myself that, but that's actually really terrible to drug somebody and then make them go insane. Wow. And who is he working for? They have a lot of interesting villains in this. And all of them are so different. No, I have kids to feed. Do I don't like falafel? Why would you steal from somebody who's just getting by? <laughs> well, so we can justify this moment. <laughs> what if you accidentally just dropped him? I never went to the drop off point. It was in the narrows. Cops only go there when there is more. Do I look like a clown? That was pretty awesome. We don't want to know what's in Mr. Falcone's crate. Things are working oh. a little differently now. Open it up. Don't get shut in there. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Always go with backup. If you had Lammy with you, he would have been able to protect you. He's fierce. Oh. The other kids won't believe me. What did you just... I thought he was going to throw one of his throwing stars. <laughs> I'm like, that's dangerous. What did he give him? But all the other apartments are gonna get burned up as well. Oh, gosh. Attacked in the bathroom. Oh, having trouble. But he's had this happen to him before. He knows how to fight through it. He knows how to fight through it. In my opinion, you need to lighten up. Is that fireproof? Is Kevlar fireproof? I have no idea. Even Batman uses the stop, drop, and roll technique. This is a really interesting villain for him to go up against. I wasn't expecting this. You know, someone that's going to make him actually confront all of his biggest fears, which is exactly what he did with the League of Shadows, and I thought he was over it, but I guess we're never really over our fears. Two days. Two days? It's your birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Weaponized in aerosol form. You have been hanging out in the wrong clubs, Mr. Wayne. That scarecrow mask must have some kind of a gas mask inside. Why is your blood isolating the receptor compounds and the protein-based catalyst? I mean, I understand any of that. Not at all. <laughs> Bottom line, I synthesized an antidote. Could you make more? You planning on gassing yourself again, Miss Wayne? An antidote? You sure you don't want to come in? I have to get back. I just wanted to leave this. Thank you. Rachel? Oh, is it the little arrow rock? Someone's been burning the candle at both ends. You're 30? My boss has been missing for two days. That's right. You enjoy your party, Bruce. Some of us have work to do. You be careful. She's kind of condescending. He's allowed to have a birthday party. But Master Wayne, the guests will be arriving. Keep them happy until I arrive. Tell them that joke, you know. Tell them that joke? <laughs> yes, that will keep them <laughs> entertained. Lammy has jokes. He always puts a joke at the end of every episode. Having fun. What do you want, Bill? My rumor was they tested dispersing water-based chemical agents into the air, but isn't that illegal? Are they going to try to hallucinate the whole city? And I'm firing you. Excuse me? Did you get the memo? The city sucks. 
Maybe the League of Shadows was right. No. We agree with Bruce's assessment. Oh, oh God. You know, I don't care how bad somebody is. I really don't like them being tortured. Isn't it convenient for a 52-year-old man to suddenly have a complete psychotic breakdown just when he's about to be indicted? Oh, there's nothing convenient. Convenient. That was good. He's very punchable in this role, you know? Patients suffering delusional episodes often focus their paranoia on an external tormentor. In this case, a scarecrow. Is that his villain name in the comics? Scarecrow? I want my own psychiatric consultant to have full access to Falcone, including blood work. Blood work. Yes. Tomorrow then. Tonight. I've already paged Dr. Lehman at County General. Oh, he's getting in the elevator with you. Rachel, you need the antidote. What is this guy's motivation? What? Who's Scarecrow working for? Unless he just likes... I don't know. Messing with people. This is where we make the medicine. That looks like you're putting it into the water system. Okay. Oh, oh, but that requires a key. It requires a key, doesn't it? Oh, okay. I'm not. Lammy? Yeah, you can't. You can't. Okay. This is actually legitimately scary. You know what? We're just not going to be afraid, though. Like, who cares if you're seeing crazy stuff? Just close your eyes. Then you can't... The scarecrow won't impact you. What if you just weren't afraid of maggots coming out of somebody's face? What if you were like, I've seen worse? There has to be someone who's not afraid of him, right? Batman. <laughs> that was a great line. She hasn't got long. I gave her a concentrated dose. The mind can only take so much. You gave her a lethal dose? I love the way this scene is lit. Oh! He really can fly. And you shall too. Oh god, that creepy scarecrow guy is just lurking in the corner, you lurker. His mask really is scary. <gasps> Taste of your own medicine, doctor. Who are you working for? Roz. Roz, how cool. Swat's on the way. But if you want to go in now, I'll be right behind you, sir. <laughs> Swat's on the way. Swat's on the way. You go, serious Black. What's his name? Gordon in this? He's not scared of the Batman. Because he's a good guy. Gosh, I've, I keep saying it. These sets are incredible. Even though this is a superhero movie, it does have a really great artistry to it. Very different than what we've seen with Marvel. Although I thought Marvel was, the Infinity Saga was its own masterpiece. You need a antidote. Get her downstairs, meet me in the alley on the narrow side. On the narrow side? What, you have to really know alleyways to know which alleyway is the narrow side. Going his toxin hidden inside Falcone's drugs and then dumping it in the water supply. What? <laughs> Oh, the water supply, and then they're going to use that machine. I shouldn't act like I'm discovering this. They're literally telling us. <laughs> what the? You're using bats as backup? Lammy! I love a hero that has an animal companion. He's like Ant-Man. Let's hope none of those... Bats are carrying diseases, otherwise you're going to need to treat Rachel for more than just the hallucinatory overdose. I love how they're co combining the mythology of Batman with the science and the advancements in this particular world. Oh, you did not care. I gotta get me one of those. <laughs> I vote you do get them. Stay calm. 
Oh, that's not gonna keep her calm. Breathe slowly. Oh, right, because she's still seeing things. Gosh, being in a car like that, going at really fast speeds is not gonna be helpful. It's interesting that the, the doctor was so afraid on his drugs. I was curious if he had maybe built up a tolerance to them or if he had played around with them himself. Oh. Trust me. Okay. We put our trust in you, Batman. Okay, the fact that she is on drugs and doing this is even more terrifying. What street is he taking? He's not on a street, he's flying on rooftops. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Gosh, everyone in this movie is doing such a great job. The acting is phenomenal. The sets are incredible. The script is great. does she have before she needs the antidote because they said there was only so much her mind could take at what point has she had the the maximum limit of what her mind can take the entrance to your bat cave is through a waterfall okay that's pretty pretty cool we only saw the main mobster have one dosage and yet he was strapped up you know, talking about Scarecrow, Scarecrow. And I'm curious if he had had more than one dose or if it just takes one dose to cause somebody to lose it. You think that if you were going to confront the people with the drugs, you would have brought the antidotes with you. Got those entire water supplies there, sweetheart. Why haven't we felt the effects? Must be a compound that has to be absorbed in the lungs. Oh, that's, yeah, that makes sense. That sucks. How long does it take for the drugs to get out of your system? How do you feel? Terrible and insane. I'm gonna give you a sedative. You'll wake up back at home. When you do, get these to Gordon. What are they? The antidote. If you go under a sedative, are you gonna remember a conversation you've had right before that sedative? She's been drugged. She gets like 30 seconds of him giving her very important instructions on how to save the entire city from going crazy. And then she's put under. She's downstairs sedated. I need you to take her home. Well, we both care for Rachel, so. So Alfred's just supposed to take an unconscious woman back to her house. Hopefully he doesn't get pulled over. <laughs> Alfred is very strong to be able to take her. Yeah. Little the worse for wear, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah. It's not a good look, Alfred. How is he so strong? He can pick her up and take her in? That's impressive. What supply won't help with this person in Halo? What? But he knows, yeah, because he was told the machine was stolen. I need you to go back to Wayne Enterprises right now and start making more of that antidote. My security clearance has been revoked. Well, that wouldn't stop a man like you now, would it? <laughs> How do you get into a building if your security clearance has been revoked? You're not Raz al Ghul. I watched him die. But is Raz al Ghul immortal? So Crane was working for you. His toxin is derived from the organic compound found in our blue flowers. Wow. The League of Shadows has been a check against human corruption for thousands of years. We sacked Rome, loaded. Every time a civilization reaches the pinnacle of its decadence, we return to restore the balance. God. Time to play. Shouldn't you be wearing gas masks? With Gotham, we tried a new one, economics. But we underestimated certain of Gotham's citizens. You were behind his dad. Oh my gosh. I am gonna stop you. I never did learn to mind your surroundings. So they created an economic disaster. You burned my house or left me for dead. Consider us even. He actually didn't leave you for dead. He picked you up and saved you.
Okay, so she wakes up from a sedative and immediately goes right into action. Is that how sedatives work? I need sedative experts to let me know. Good job, Alfred. Oh my gosh. That air would be so hot to breathe. What is the point of all those push-ups if you can't even lift a bloody log? <laughs> yeah. I agree. I agree. He's already tired. He's lifted Rachel. How hot? It would be so hot there. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. What are you doing here? Our mutual friend sent me with this. Counteract screen's toxin. If I was Rachel, I would have been running. She was walking very slowly, considering what's about to happen to the city. Time to spread the word. And the word is coming. Considering Rachel just had a lethal dose of this exact same poison, wouldn't she face death faster? Okay, I would have had that thing on first and then done it. Well, I wouldn't have done it at all. Let's just, I just want to clarify that. But I would have put my mask, if I was a villain, I would put my mask on first and then press the button. That's the order that I would do things in. Good job, Gordon. Good job. Oh, this is sick. This is so scary. This is one of the most clever villain storylines. Is this how it happened in the comics or is this unique to this movie? This is such a full circle story. Having the person who trained Batman. Was he, was he biting something off of that man's face? Oh my God. Oh, the crunching. That alive rent free in my mind for a while. Oh, and you're, you're hurting the horses too. I should care about the people, but also those horses. Uh. There's nobody left to send it. <laughs> There's Batman. <laughs> Does Batman have an antidote too? If they get their machine into Wayne Station, it'll cause a chain reaction that'll vaporize the entire city's water supply. But I may need your help. What do you need? He may need your help. He's not 100% certain though. Out of here itself. That was a really good aim. Oh, cause she has the antidote in her system. God, I'm slow today. <sighs> she has the antidote, I thought, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Lammy, we need the power of your flock to save them. Good job, Rachel. Don't be. I love that Rachel is a person of action. All the main characters in this movie are really willing to do things above and beyond just watching the main hero do things, which is nice. You could die. At least tell me your name. Batman. <laughs> it's not who I am underneath, but what I do that defines me. Bruce? I can't believe he told her who he was. These poor people are going to be just totally traumatized when this is over. My fate, however, lies with the rest of Gotham. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a city to destroy. So this is interesting. He mentioned that Gotham was the best, or like the, the, the world's best city. I have to assume that if the League of Shadows has previously sacked Rome and burned London to the ground, that it means that Gotham is kind of the world's leading city now. And I never knew that. I always wondered why Gotham was the focus of everything. I'll be interested to see a behind the scenes video on this and how they did some of these stunts and these scenes because they're really well done. My mind is still blown that he was behind the economic crisis in Gotham, which really adds a different layer to the line of dialogue that he said in the beginning when he and Batman were fighting over the, 
over the ice. He said your, it was your father's fault that he was murdered, knowing that he was the one that kind of con- orchestrated the whole thing. Not the exact murder, but his goal was to get people to kind of tear each other apart. Evacuate the building. We're right on top of the main hub, and it's going to blow. It seems a little late to do an evacuation now. So who shall win, Batman or the man with a special set of skills? Yes! Yes! I won't kill you, but I don't have to save you. That's a very interesting ethical question. Does not saving somebody, does intentionally not saving somebody actually mean that you're the one that killed them? I would argue yes. I mean, I would argue yes. Although he could survive this. Who knows? Good job blowing up your city. You did good. I seem to remember firing you. I got another job. Yours. Whose authority? Batman! <laughs> what makes you think you can decide who's running Wayne Enterprises? The company went public a week ago. And I bought most of the shares. The important thing is that my company's future is secure. <laughs> what a baller move. Didn't you get the memo? Didn't you get the memo? Lammy and I got it. So does this mean he's wrapping up his Batman lifestyle? I mean, we know he's not. There's two more movies. And when I heard you were back, I... I, started I think they're about to kiss. Mammy agrees. The love story of Batman and Rachel, right? Her name's Rachel? Yes. Bruce and Rachel. Your real face is the one that criminals now fear. Man, I loved Loved. He never came back at all. But maybe he's still out there somewhere. Why would you kiss him and then reject him? That is confusing. Okay, well that was... And they're holding hands? Wrong, you know. What is the status of their relationship? <laughs> Am I the only one confused by these blurred lines? Oh, because your dad was a doctor. Interesting that he started off saying he wanted to get rid what of this place. Do? Rebuild it. Just the way it was, brick by brick. And before he said he wanted to take it apart brick by brick. This was really symbolic of him. The house is like an extension of his character arc. Got a taste for the theatrical like you. Leaves a calling card. Is it the Joker? Is it the Joker? Yes! I am so excited to watch this next movie. You have no idea. This is a phenomenal movie. I love the relationships they're developing. I never said thank you. And you'll never have to. It's so layered. It's fantastic. And I love that they're leading us up to the next movie with the Joker. This was phenomenal. I'm really curious to know if you're a fan of the Batman comics, if you felt like this movie really did the comics justice. Not really having knowledge of the source material, I thought it was phenomenal. I loved the relationships between all of these characters. I love that Rachel, so Rachel was the daughter of the maid or the nanny. She seemed to be uh, the daughter of that woman in the beginning who was working at the household who had said, sorry, Mr. Mr. Wayne for you know, losing track of Bruce. And that's really interesting. I like the fact that there's maybe um, a different financial and uh, social class that they're in. Obviously that would matter to some people, but I like that, that, you know, she was kind of growing up with him, but not necessarily going to the same school and having all of the privilege. So she's a little bit more down to earth at the same time. He's had to grow into this person that is incredibly aware of his surroundings that monologue that the um was it falcone the original mobster gave in the beginning when rachel takes him to go see him 
and he doesn't bring a gun. He goes and he sits down and he talks about being angry about Mr. Chill being murdered. And the, um, the mobster is like, you've lived a life of privilege. You don't get this world. That was such a phenomenal monologue. I loved it. And on one hand, you, you hate this guy because he's such a bad person. And on the other hand, I really appreciate a villain that's smart, that, that's good at what they do, and that's just a really good rival. This had multiple villains in it, by the way. So we had Killian Murphy's character, we had Liam Neeson's character, and then we had the mobster. And it seemed like, well, they kind of talked about how everyone in the city was corrupt. So that obviously leads me to think that this entire city is a breeding ground of villains and I'm assuming there's going to be more superheroes is Batman the only one in Gotham I'm not really sure as much about the DC universe because I know that with Snyder's movies because I did see Man of Steel and I know that the next movie after that was supposed to be uh, Batman versus Superman. So I actually love that I'm watching this movie first because this gives me a little bit of backstory on Batman. Even though they're different Batman stories, I, I totally get that. It allows me to know the Batman character a little bit better before I then watch Batman's story in the Snyderverse. So I, I actually really like the timing of this. This is awesome. But man, all the relationships in this movie, with Bruce's relationship with Alfred, that was lovely. Alfred's kind of like a friend and a little bit of a father figure. It was sad when Bruce originally told him, you know, this isn't your family. Alfred's clearly dedicated a good portion of his life, if not all of his remaining years to the Wayne family. And so I imagine that that was a hurtful comment, but it also came from a young man who, who was very angry at the world, who had a lot of grief and blamed himself and was looking for other people to blame as well. And like the like the main mobster in the beginning said, you don't really have a sense of the world. And I thought it was really interesting that he was going to Princeton and, you know, had a little bit of a of a privileged perspective on the world, and yet you're still rooting for him. You know, he wasn't a perfect guy at the beginning. He's still not a perfect person, but at least now I'm like totally behind him and rooting for him. I loved his character arc. I loved his growth. And when he's that kind of snobbier guy, he's like, I want to take this house down brick by brick. I want to, I want to take it down to the foundations. And what a great full circle moment in the script to have it come back around at the end and have him say, I'm going to build it back brick by brick. This was really, the house was really symbolic of Batman's character. I really can't wait to see the next movie. I'm so excited for it. This movie was so phenomenal. I mean, everything about it was great. The score, the directing. I was, I feel like I didn't talk as much in this because I was just watching it. Like, the more epic a movie is, sometimes the less I have to say about it. The shots were all incredible. I loved how all of the night shots, you could tell they they had uh, watered down the streets so that they really just had a great reflection on them. The lighting was beautiful. I loved, I loved how every scene was lit. I remember watching Captain Marvel and bringing up the fact that in the in the shots at night, everything was just so one toned. It was, it was all, everything was just in shadow. You couldn't really see the various facial expressions of people as easily. It all just looked very dull. Here was beautiful shadow work. They were lighting everyone perfectly. Every single person had some kind of light on their face, even if it was just a sliver of it that allowed you to see their eyes, the fear going on. That was all during, particularly when, um, when Batman was going to, uh, it was the first time that he was ever attacking the mobsters people during the drug raid. And that was beautifully shot. You have all these people running throughout shipping containers and it could very easily get boring if the directing wasn't, you know, perfect, if the pace wasn't great, if the lighting wasn't awesome. So everything was really just phenomenally done. It didn't seem like there was a heavy reliance on, on CGI when they were doing the car chase at the end and all of the different manholes were sh being shot up because of the steam. 
that looked so cool. And that was the, sh that was the scene that I was really interested in, in seeing if they filmed behind the scenes footage for that to maybe kind of explain how they did some of it, because it was, it was pretty phenomenal to watch. And it was, this movie felt very theatrical. They mentioned that Batman himself is a theatrical character. It did feel very theatrical and I liked that. Thank you so much for being here and supporting my channel. I appreciate it so much. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss my next upload. And I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.